Hi everyone, it's Charlotte from Homecraft Mama. This week is Making Memories Week. So the theme has really given me a kick up the bum to get going on a project that I have been avoiding and putting off for a really long time. Basically, I have recently inherited my great grandmother's sewing box. She was born in about 1903 and received this sewing box for her 21st birthday. So that means she got it in 1924, which means that this sewing box is nearly 100 years old. So it's kind of like a memory in itself. So this sewing box has huge significance to me, to my sister, to my mum. The thing is, it is in desperate need of some love, care and attention. Once you see it, you'll see that it, it is in quite a state. So I'm going to attempt to do a bit of DIY restoration on it. I'm going to focus on sorting out the lining and just trying to make the box usable. I've got a basic plan of attack but I won't really know what I'm dealing with until I actually get the box out and have a look at it and I think basically start tearing it apart. I really 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 cannot muck this up so I've got to be really careful in how I do it but like I said I think I know what I'm doing. I think. So this is it, my great grandma's sewing box. As you can see, it's pretty knackered, marks all over it. The drawer is wonky. This lid just lifts right off. It's not meant to do that. It's meant to be attached to this back panel here. So I'm going to have to find a way to reattach the top to this panel of wood. The other big issue is that all the lining, all the inside is really pretty grim. So you can see that in its original form it would have been really nice. It's got this powder blue material, it's got a nice, well what once would have been nice blue trim but it is really really grubby and the glue has all started to come away so it's clearly been glued in. It just needs ripping out and replacing. I think it will be relatively easy to reupholster. First things first, I'm gonna have to just rip it apart. Uh, it isn't just glued in, it's also been pinned in. I think this was silk, looking at it. Such a shame that it got into this condition. Oh, okay, so that's come away. I think next I am going to have to take this lid properly off. Yeah, it's coming out quite easily. Oh, okay. The lid is off. It's a little rusty, but fully functional. From here, I guess the thing is take this off, remove the lining completely, and then see what we are working with with the bare box. So let's do that now. Looking at it, it's literally just some covered cardboard glued onto another bit of wood. It's not the sturdiest of structures. There we go. Yeah, literally just a bit of cardboard glued to a bit of wood. Also, I'm gonna have to take This feels a little more secure, she says, ripping it apart. Again, it, it's just cardboard. The thing is about it being just this cardboard is that I can use this as a template. That's actually quite handy. I'm going to get my materials together, make some templates and take it from there. I would like this restoration to be as sympathetic to the original as possible. I'm going to do the lining in shades of blue to reflect the original blue. I don't have silk, let's be real. What I do have is this nice blue, this nice blue. You can't really see because it's night. The lighting isn't great, I apologise. It is the evening. This is the only time I have to do larger projects like this. What I'll do is I'll do my measuring, I'll draw it all out and get it ready to sew together in the morning. I'm gonna do that right now and I'll pick up with you 
in the morning. It's the morning. Like I said last night, I managed to cut all the pieces. So this is one of the side panels. I managed to cut the bottom piece and that is currently in the box. Also managed to cut the bit that's gonna go in the lid and I've started to attach the trim, which I'm hoping, I know, which I'm hoping to finish this morning. I'm hand stitching the trim on. Then what I've got is stuff to try and get the lid back to the back panel, wood adhesive, a couple of manual clamps. I've got the screwdriver set and the original screws to reattach the um, mechanical arm. Hey. Yeah, I know. So hopefully it's all gonna come together swimmingly. What I think I'm gonna do is get this trim on, maybe give my um, fabric pieces another press with the iron. Maybe get a shower as well so I look a bit more presentable rather than first thing in the morning. I'll pick up when I'm ready to actually start constructing the sewing box. Imogen is also kicking off now, understandably. She's had her breakfast and she's like, I'm bored now. I'll see you when this trim is attached. Well, that took bloody ages. Next time I say I want to hand sew a palm trim to something, redirect me to this video and me saying never, ever, never again. Uh, my pieces are ready to go. What I'm gonna do now is try and glue this lid back together. Don't know how it's gonna go. Hopefully well. What I think I'm gonna do is try to put the glue onto this part. So the back panel. Okay. And then, So now what I need to do is get my clamps like that. There's one. Okay, two. Clamps are attached. Just gotta let it dry. While the glue is drying, what I think I'll do is sew the side bits that are gonna be the lining together to make one continuous long bit of fabric and then find a way to attach it to the underneath of the base panel so that I can lift it to line upwards. Two down, two to go. Okay. One more, one, one more to go. The lid panel is nearly finished being stuck on. So now my mission to try and reattach the arm to the main box. So hopefully this will be relatively easy. Despite the hell it gave me before, what I'm thinking is that I will attach more of the palm trim to go around the top of it. There's no way I'm hand sewing this again though. No way in hell. So I'm gonna get my sewing machine. So we'll have the palm trim around the top and then what I'll do is I will glue the other side, the bottom half, to the underside of the wood panel, pop it in the box, glue the sides up the walls of the box, and I think it will be done. Got the machine ready? Okay, let's do this. This has all been hemmed now, ready to add the pom-pom trim. What I've done is pinned the trim into place. So now, I know Emmy, now I can start actually sewing it on. Hopefully the palms won't get stuck in the machine, let's see. So in leaving the foot up, I'm hoping that the trim won't get eaten by the machine and that I can just use eyes, my eye, to maintain as straight a line as possible. It'll be all right, it'll be all right. Let's do it. Imogen is in her bouncer, which is what you can hear now. So apologies for that. So I finished the palm trim, glued it to the underside of the base and I fitted the bottom into the sewing box. Here, take a look. So that's all in. All I need to do now is glue up, up the sides and um, I think we'll be pretty much good to go. Oh, also need to finish attaching the arm. Okay, and here we have it. 
a finished final product. Not perfect, still in need of a polish and a wax, but fully upholstered, fully lined, new felts, and with a working usable lid. Once again, it can be used as a sewing box. I'm really pleased with how it came out. For a first time job, it looks really quite good. I can't believe it. So I hope everyone has really enjoyed this non-tutorial. I feel so pleased that I've gone from a hundred year old sewing box that was filled with this to this. And it's fully functional. I'm so pleased. I can't believe I've done this all myself. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube -y things. Check out our Instagram, we're also on Pinterest, Twitter, all the places. And yeah, let me know what you think of my first restoration project, hopefully the first of many. I'll catch you when I can.